Hi, and welcome to Catholic Partnership Schools, Catholic Schools Week Teacher Spotlight. Today we have with us Teresa. Welcome, Teresa. Hi, how you doing? Great, thank you. My name is Teresa Casanias. I am the pre-K dual language at the Community Learning Center at St. Anthony's, and I teach all subjects at the, with pre-K. Wonderful. Now, Teresa, I know there's been a lot of challenges this year, but can you talk to us specifically about some of the challenges that COVID-19 has brought to your normal teaching routine? Yes. Well, one of the things that um, uh, what I have done in the past is we would do morning greets with the pre-K uh, right before they enter the classroom and we'll, they have a choice, either a hug, high five, or a wave, or any of those welcoming. This year, I couldn't do any of those. This year was like, you know, we said hi, uh, like on the screen and on uh, just wave in the classroom. It's so different. I mean, that has been probably uh, the worst challenging for me. It's because I can't interact personally with the pre-K. Oh, and then tell us a little bit about some of the things that you've had to do to pivot so that you can support your students and their families. Well, one of the things I've done is I communicate with the parents each day. So, it, for example, like it says, uh, greeting, morning greet, I make it known that I'm saying good morning to each of the kids remotely and high, like when they're in class. I say, good morning, Preke. How was your day? And just so they know that I am here for them. And with their parents, I speak to them on a daily basis. And I want them to feel like, even though we're not together in the same classroom, I want them, we all together as a, as a team. Wonderful. And then how about um, one, like, I know there's a ton of them, I'm sure, but how about your biggest lesson learned this year? My biggest lesson learned, Oof. well, um, first of all, it's unthinkable, like everything happened so quickly um, that it took everyone by surprise. So for me to, like I had to figure out things to do right away with, pre with pre-K, you know, we're not talking about little <laughs> so pre-K, I had to think about, okay, we have to do this, we have to do that. Okay, we're going to be learning this way, not like we were doing before. So. The biggest lear learning lesson for me has been that I have to always be like ready to what's going to happen next. I'm already prepared. I almost prepare for what's going to happen next. Oh, I'm sure. And I'm sure it's a lot of work this year, extra yes. than you really thought. Um, so tell me, Teresa, what is the one thing that you're most looking forward to after all this is said and done? My hugs. <laughs> My hugs. The laughter. Oh. You know, I hear it. It's it's not the same in the classroom. You know, when they're in the classroom, you ask, like, for example, we just did like uh, uh, we were we're learning about coins right now. So, for example, we were in classroom. I will have show them each will have their own coin and they would say things like, and who's this guy? Why is he looking? The, you know, funny stuff like that. Them asking question, interaction, like like just laughing and giggle. I miss that so much. I have right now a couple of the kids in the classroom, but when they're all together, it just makes the, it makes it such a different experience. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Oh, well, we hope that you can get your hugs very soon. And that seems to be a common theme amongst many of the teachers. Well, we are just so grateful that you were able to join us today. Thank you so much. Obviously, thank you so much that, for all that you do for Catholic Partnership Schools, for your students, their families. And um, we just, are, again, are just super grateful. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. You're welcome.